Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is gonna be pretty short because I'm just gonna show you a very cool 4x4 piston door I built. So this is not a tutorial, but if you are a Minecraft player and you're interested in a tutorial, you just have to ask me. But now let's get back to the door. Well, first of all, this is not a normal 4x4 piston door, but a multiple 4x4 piston door. Which means that there are a lot of piston doors one after the other. Now I know what you're thinking, if currently the most compact 4x4 piston door is 2 blocks deep, how did I manage to make one which is 1 block deep? Well, I used a little trick, because now we are in 1.15, we have slime blocks and honey blocks, and so I made a door which is partly made of slime blocks and honey blocks. Even though you don't see it because it is covered up, as you can see. Now, does that make my door ugly? Well, you judge. So let's have a quick look at the circuitry. Well, each door is one block wide, they are all independent and they can be opened without interference. So how did I make the chain opening? Well, I used some repeaters and every time a repeater powers, this observer will power this piston and the pillar will go up. And every time a pillar goes up, a door opens. So let me show you how this works. You see, all the pillars go up, and all the doors are open, and then when I press it again, you can guess, all the pillars go down, and all the door close. And that's it. Well, of course, when you open it, there are some visible blocks, such as obsidian, or you can use any other removable objects, and slime blocks and honey blocks. But I don't think it looks bad, in fact I think it looks pretty cool. And most importantly, you don't need to walk on slime blocks and honey blocks, because you have these two blocks in the middle. And finally, the whole circuitry fits in a 14 by 14 square, which may seem a lot, but it is not that much for a so complicated redstone contraption. So let me show you one more time. This is the opening sequence and then the closing sequence. So I think that we are done for today, I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next episode.